Hey guys, my name is Nexus, and this is the Assassin at Lord Ganrish is House. The title can get a little bit screwed up sometimes. That's why I actually like having this little uh, column on the left here now. Um, anyway, this was made apparently October 19th, 2000 by Eric Stevenson, or Svensson, also known as Isamore, or Esamore, however he'd like that pronounced. Um, however, the date I have for it the earliest one I've seen was November 9th. Um, most of these dates are based on Comag, so if it's different, I tried to change it if I noticed it, so it may actually be different on Thief Missions, now that I think about it, but I'm pretty sure I went through and checked all those. Anyway, this is not exactly a short mission, but it is fairly contained, I suppose would be the best way to say it. It's in one building, there's gigantic high walls in the skybox, and it kind of looks really similar to a mission we played quite a while earlier. So, moving right along. Okay guys, here's normal, hard, and expert. Alright, so, let's talk about this mission. Looks kind of familiar, don't it? So, First off, let's talk about the really weird plot hook uh, that we've been given. We have a thief who's been captured by Lord Garnish. His name is actually Ganrish, but that's way too close to the word Garnish, so I keep thinking I'm seeing the word Garnish and that's how I'm going to pronounce it for the rest of eternity. Nothing that's been said will ever change my mind from pronouncing it that way. So I haven't gotten that bit out of the way. Uh, yeah, this is Lord Garnish's house. Uh, and there's a thief who apparently knows all our secrets, all of our hiding places, every single mission we've ever been on, everything we've ever stolen. He knows what it is, and he's gonna tell, because they're gonna torture him into telling him, into telling them, him, things. Yes. Something like that. Um, anyway, there's a couple different entries. You could just go straight in the front door, you can go up there, you can go up here. I guess I'll go up here. Anyway, the, um, lighting is pretty off. The, uh, darkest is not that great. Um, yeah, this looks pretty familiar, though, doesn't it? I don't know if this is the same author, and I don't know quite a few things because I haven't looked it up, but upon booting this, that was my first thought, and actually this is the first time I've booted this, but, um... Yeah, I mean, not like the first time I've ever in a million years booted, uh, ever, ever, I mean, like, have it, have never done so, but I mean, like, this is the first time I've booted this in years and years, and I'm getting confused again, but anyway, um, this looks very similar to a mission I played not too long ago on my channel, and tried to show on drama because it was so broken, um, and I don't remember which one it was, but... I don't believe that... No, no, which one was this? This was one of the really early ones, though. Um, the door couldn't be opened because you couldn't get the key and a couple other things like that. I'm trying to see if I can fit down here. What is the point in coming up here, then? Okay, well, apparently there's a servant who's going to be mad at me now. Alright, I guess I'll just sort of... I can climb through this window? This is weird. Is this because there's a bed in the way, or is this just... I'm gonna assume it's because there's a bed in the way. Alright then. That was pointless. What about this window? Hey, I can go through this window. Could've just gone through the door, but just wanted to see. This is not marble. I thought this would be for sure. Alright then. This looks quite different, actually, to the mission I'm thinking of. That opening, though, that opening looked pretty similar to the mansion of this mission or that I'm thinking of. Um, for the life of me, I do not remember what it was called, though. Very strange. Um, wow, you're facing the other direction. I should take advantage of this. Whoops. Oh, no, I've docked somebody out. What a terrible person I am. I mean, really. What kind of monster knocks out a guard just doing his duty? What the heck is going on over there? Do I have to light this up at some point? 
I'm not going to like if I do. Uh, there's no flares in... There's no flares in Thief 1, right? So I would actually have to use a fire arrow, I think. Unless this person has managed to make a custom item, which... I don't know. I mean, it's possible, but just given... Given what I'm seeing from this mission, I really don't think that's very likely. Just saying. Alright, you have a key! A key doesn't open that door. That door can't be opened. Well, I could knock it down. But I think I'll leave that as a last resort. Alright, what about here? Oh, this is the key. This is the key to the gallery. This is a very dark gallery. Can I steal these paintings? No, of course not. Why would I be able to steal paintings? What possible reason could I have for wanting to steal paintings, of all things? I mean, really, what kind of monster am I? I only say, I'm only being really sarcastic because this is uh, kind of just weird and this gigantic roof and I don't know. It's kind of weird. I wonder if people realize that you can scale down a fully finished product in Dramed. You can make a roof and you can scale it down if you're having trouble with that. So, yeah, even I know that, and I haven't really played with Dramed very much. I just know how scale works. Uh, does this, uh, does this work? No? Of course not. I remain unsurprised. Um, hmm. I feel like somebody's probably coming down this way. But I see that. Please close the door. Yeah, well, that works too, I guess. Not really happy with that, but you know, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Or in this case, a guard that's been knocked out. Yeah, don't look him in the mouth. They got ugly teeth. I mean, they they keep thinking they're smelling other people, but. They haven't washed in days. I keep saying they did, but nah. I know these guards. I've walked these streets before. They haven't washed. Why would they? Okay, I'm done with that. Um, hmm. I have another key. I wonder if it goes to the only doors I haven't been able to open yet. That would be a surprise. If this is just a key hunt, I'm going to be a little bit disappointed. I'm beginning to believe that this is just a key hunt. Well, yeah. A little bit of disappointment, not too terribly surprised. There's really only... what the heck? Oh, okay. I got confused again. Um, yeah, most missions fall under certain categories of gameplay styles, and you've got your key hunts, you've got your puzzle types, you got some other types like combat oriented you've got uh, places you shouldn't go for 300 Alex um, hmm yeah I mean you have undead type missions but that's not the gameplay style that's the theme essentially um, let me think so there's combat puzzle uh, key hunt which kind of rolls fetch quests into that as well um, just wanted to deal with that real quick. I'm hoping that they might want to come ah, through this door. Perfect. Alright. Wow, okay, what? Interesting. Hello. <laughs> was, oh, wow, ow. Okay. Could you just not? Come on, could, no, could come on! Could you just not? I mean, really? Damn. Where'd he go? Alright, that's taken care of. Okay. So yeah, we have at least 700 loot, so we've already ticked off one objective, actually, which is kind of weird. I didn't think it would be that easy. Hmm. This looks promising. Kind of. See, when the when the shadows are like this, the 
darkest parts are never actually where the darkness is. It's kind of annoying. Something to do with Raycast object 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 cast. OBJ cast. It's object cast. Basically, objects cast shadows. Or they don't. If you have Raycast, most people think it's uh, rather silly not to have Raycast or object cast enabled. What's that? Who goes? What? Don't say anything now. The guards are still hilarious, though. Even in this day and age. The LGS team did a really good job. Just, they really did, you know? Kind of makes me sad. They no longer exist. I can't ring the bell, so it's pointless being there. Hello, servant. Please go to sleep. I don't want to have to deal with you. There's a lot of food in here that I could eat, but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna take this one chunk plate. I'm gonna take the real plate and toss them in the fire. No. I wouldn't do that even though there's a kill objective or no. There is no no kill objective. Yes. Double negative. Aye. Hello. Is that you? No. That's not me. Mate. Ooh, shiny. Nice placement, too. Dang. Mm -hmm. Haven't seen that very often. You're gonna fall straight. Yep. Straight in the fire. Love when that happens. It's really funny, and then they die, and then you got in trouble because most missions have a no-kill objective. Hello, fireplace. Why can I not go in you, but he can? I'm jealous. And quite fickle. Alright. More lockpicking for no reason. More lockpicking for no reason. On rooms that are pretty empty. I mean, they got loot in them in this case, so that's unusual because it seems like most rooms that you have to lockpick don't have anything in them either in the form of AI or loot. There is no drain, so there is no ring. That's kind of just the thing. Usually if there were drain in a pool, there'd be loot in it just, just because, really. Not every time, but most people have been doing that for a few years now. There are very few hiding places these days uh, that haven't been done at least once. I'm sure someone can think of at least one that no one has ever considered, such as, um, hmm, gonna have to think of something. How about hiding it in... Mm. <clears throat> if you put it anywhere on an NPC, it's going to be immediately found, but not realized where it is anyway. If you make it on an NPC you can't knock out, you might be able to do it, but it would have to be visible. If you were going to have a loot item that no one had ever done, it couldn't be on the ceiling, couldn't be on the floor, couldn't be on a wall, couldn't be in a torch, it would have to be somewhere nobody's ever done before, so it couldn't be in a plant, it couldn't be in a pool, couldn't be in a lamp, and it couldn't be down your pants. These are just things that you can't put because people have done them before. This feels like a Dr. Seuss book all of a sudden. Uh, so yeah, you couldn't hide it in a door, nor in a 2 by 4 Couldn't hide it on the floor, nor could you hide it in Mordor. Yes. Yes, this is Dr. Seuss. Now, this is Dr. Seuss time. We're going to be rhyming. All the time. Because that's what we do in Dr. Seuss land. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm done now. I'm actually <laughs> already tired of rhyming. Okay, uh, these are more flavor rooms that have the same floor texture, have the same wall texture, and have the same ceiling texture, and really aren't indicative of anything at all. And in fact, are pretty pretty pointless. Um, actually, more annoying than pointless for the most part. Can't open that door for reasons relating to the key hunt that I have yet to complete. This is a cathedral, and it's Christian for reasons that nobody except the author really cares about. Uh, we got our bread and wine here, which is kind of interesting, I suppose. That's where the bell is. I don't know why there's no rope from there there. Um, I should enunciate more, I suppose. I hear an apparition. 
or they're just using the the sound of one. I'll find out fairly soon, I'm sure. <gasps> Okay, yeah, they're just using the sound of one. The, the reason why I know is I don't believe this person would be well-versed enough to make it so that uh, it, the actual thing would not be able to escape from those objects since they're technically not walls. Um, I think it's how that works. Anyway, we got gigantic rooms, gigantic, gigantic corridors, gigantic throne room. We got the dancer's studio over here. We got Lord not drinking out of a golden goblet. Wait, no, I did that wrong. I apologize here. Let me just put this back. I said put it back on the I said put it back on the chair. Fine. What is a man? Miserable pile of secrets. That is the answer to every question in life. There's definitely some interesting things going on here, but yeah, I really thought this would be more similar to the one mission I'm thinking of because of this opening here looking very similar. Uh, but it's really not, and you know what? I'm lost already. Um, every room looks pretty similar. I don't believe there's a map, and I'm really frightened to try it. Um, I'm usually frightened to try the maps, just, just kind of an in-case, because I really hate having to um, restart my recording because Fraps gets kind of unhappy if you uh, crash in the middle of recording and I could potentially lose things by doing so but not all the time. This is what I wanted to find. I hear people moving. Probably gonna kill them. Boop. I booped him on the head. And the sound brushes are kind of weird. I really want to know what does that. I would love if somebody could tell me if it's uh, overlap, if they need to overlap or not. Um, because I would like to know. What is the point of this? Okay. Just gonna keep moving. Just gonna ignore it. Gonna give myself an aneurysm if I don't ignore it. So I'm just gonna keep going. Just gonna gigantic barrels. I don't know what the point of this is anymore. Ooh. I can actually toss that out there. I don't know what's out there. Hmm. Alright, do I need a key for any of this? Probably. Just a hazard of guess. Nope, okay, cool. I am pretty tempted to just break down that door, though. Actually, I will do that briefly. Just to try it. No. Sounds pretty unbreakable. Alright. Key? Hmm. Well, it's not that key, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, been everywhere. Where's the place where I couldn't enter before? It was down here and through the door. I'm rhyming again, like I know I don't want to. Uh, perhaps I have a screw loose. Yes, that didn't rhyme, so now I'm quite pleased with myself. And now we're going to the basement, because why not? Now we're going to be in the red on the light jump, because why not? Something moved there? I almost didn't see that. That's very mean. <clears throat> You're a mean mission maker. <laughs> not really, just kind of one of those things. I'm just kind of spouting off random things because I don't know what's happening. Because I just see darkness on one side and light on the other and no... Hey, wait a minute. Uh, how do I open that? Do I need to... I think I remember this mission a bit better. Nope. No, I don't. I don't remember this mission. I do not remember the zombie pit at all, actually. 
So, <laughs> okay then. Alright, well, since I wouldn't uh, be able to come back from there, I'm not going to go down there. I don't... I don't know how they want me to open this. Oh, well, okay, apparently that way. Hello. Uh, apparently I was supposed to be more careful. That's not fair. Oh. Alright. So, just gonna point this out. I hate this guy. He's a thief, so he's an asshole. And unfortunately for me, he's faster than me. A lot faster than me. And unfortunately for me, sometimes he likes to swing around behind him. Because the AI is kind of weird like that. And now I can't see him at all because it's dark. And I'm scared. <clears throat> Alright, where... Get the heck back here, you doofus. I'm gonna just bunny hop after you. Alright, come on. You can catch him, Garrett. <laughs> That's gotta be terrifying, though. Did he really? Okay, I thought he was turning around to fight me. There we go. Ah, perfect. Alright. That finishes it, then. Alright, Mr. 100 Loot, fair enough. Uh, don't know where it is, don't care! Done with this mission, because it's just a long corridor filled with, oh, find a key to go here, oh, find a key to go there, and everything looks the same. Please include some variety, please. Thank you. So anyway, um, I'm gonna have to try and find the review real quick. This was assassination. Oh, no, it has no review. 6 out of 10 by the community out of 12 votes. So... Yeah, that's been Assassin at Lord Garnish. Uh, I call him Lord Garnish because it really does look like that to my brain. Uh, every now and then. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, it could have used some visual variety to say the least. It could have used some variety in the AI. The scale was pretty off. It's pretty okay for someone's first mission. I've seen better and I've seen worse. So... With that in mind, I'm sure once we find the worst first mission someone has done, I might point it out. Maybe I won't. Maybe I will. Probably won't. I'll probably just say I've seen worse and I've seen better. Because it is really hard to judge what's worse, because in this case it just wasn't entertaining. But there wasn't really anything, specifically speaking, wrong with it. I mean, the architecture was kind of bleh, and the textures were bleh, and the gameplay was bleh. But it wasn't... It wasn't awful. It wasn't broken. It didn't crash my computer. It didn't crash my game. So, in that sense, I suppose it's a complete success. So, with that in mind, I will see you guys next time.